The County of San Diego and Governor Gavin Newsom are among the defendants in a lawsuit filed by one of the founding members of the Let Them Play organization. Joining us now is Marlon Gardnera, head coach of Scripps Ranch High School football team and a father to talk about this lawsuit. Marlon, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. You've been so eloquent in your reasoning for just being absolutely passionate about this. You have two kids. You say you're a father first, uh, a coach second, which, which is like so many of us know, kind of a pseudo dad to so many kids. And and this really uh, has has to come to this point for you. Tell us about the specifics of this lawsuit and, and any reaction you've gotten so far. Well, it, it really came down to exactly how long can California parents wait to have our voices heard on behalf of our children. Uh, so the lawsuit, it, it really just goes after uh, the, our leaders asking the question, uh, how can they pick and choose who can participate and compete in sports? We've seen it at multiple levels. Uh, why is it that our level uh, is being prohibited? So think of uh, the NFL sports or the Major League Baseball. Uh, think of college. The rate of transmission for people in those age groups is significantly higher. It's higher for the college level. Uh, we know kids are the least affected uh, by the coronavirus. Uh, and obviously, we are still aware that they can get it and spread it. So, you, you know, we believe the structured environment and the supervision we provide and the precautions we take are allow us to be safer. So the, the lawsuit really just says, why are we sort of isolated and been picked out uh, as, as the one group who can't move forward? You know, many people can can look at this and say, well, the reason is is obvious. It's uh, money. You know, college sports, professional sports, it generates money. And, you know, they make the argument, obviously, uh, high school sports doesn't. And so uh, they're thinking that, that that's the reason. Do you agree with, with that assessment? I mean, what, what do you think is the motivation here? Well, I want to be clear about the distinction between uh, the two, I guess you could say, competing interests. My children are worth more than money. The 800,000 student athletes in the state of California that have been benched since March are worth more than money. And the anxiety, the depression, the suicidal ideation, the number of kids who've joined gangs, the number of kids who are now ineligible, the kids who've dropped out, they're worth more than money. So I don't know that that is a, a compelling argument for me as a father. And I know it's not a compelling argument for the other parents throughout California. Uh, you, you cannot place a value on my son's mental health. You can't place a value on his physical activity. Uh, and I think that probably makes it crystal clear where we stand versus money. Yeah, I know so many parents uh, agree with you. So, so what do you think is, is the argument from their side as to why they're not letting students in, in, a, in a, a safe, constructive way, as you've pointed out, uh, with proper protocols in place, why do you think they're not allowing this? What has been the argument? Well, that's the real question because we have data from the 35 states that have already played high school sports, the 40 plus states who've had youth sports, and the data has made it clear children are safer in this environment. So we don't understand why high school sports and youth sports have been isolated. Uh, we'd like answers to those questions. Uh, don't get me wrong, Let Them Play California has done an amazing job uh, getting this grassroots movement between parents and coaches uh, you know, progressing, and we've spoken directly to the governor and people in his office. Uh, we're just waiting for answers now. Yeah. So the lawsuit is designed to, to essentially say, uh, you know, I'm not little, willing to settle for anything. Uh, my kids expect my best, so I'm going to give it to them. And when I say my kids, I mean my children, uh, our program, and I know coaches all over the state and parents are saying the same thing. So uh, this is just another route along with the folks that let them play California. We're working hard to make things happen. Has there has there been any response from the governor's office? I know uh, we've spoke uh, to Coach Ron Gladnick over at Torrey Pines, who who you've been uh, working with throughout this. I mean, the two of you, your effort behind this for the kids, uh, just the passion in your voices speaks volumes. Has has there been any response uh, from from the governor's office? I know he's been in talks. You've been in talks. I, I mean, it's it's just sort of heartbreaking to not at least get some answers. 
Well, at first, you know, I have to thank Coach Gladnick, uh, the head coach of Torrey Pines, Coach Walsh up at Serra uh, in San Mateo. They, they've been relentless. Uh, and they have had discussions. And we get, you know, sort of the feeling that things are progressing. And then there's that lull where nothing is really happening. The only thing that's happening are our kids are being affected. So again, this, this lawsuit, uh, it, we want to speed this up. We want our kids back out there now. So while those discussions can continue, and while we are very hopeful and optimistic that they can lead to a positive result, uh, this is another route uh, because we believe it should have already happened, but we want to get it going now. Uh, so we, we can only hope that they prog those discussions progress yeah. while this progresses in the court. What's the next step with the lawsuit? Uh, well, we're hoping for a hearing early next week. We're asking for immediate relief. Uh, this isn't uh, a lawsuit where, you know, we're looking for any monetary gain or benefit. We want someone to take a look at the data. We want someone to take a look at the, the sort of the unequal treatment of different groups and make a decision right away uh, to get us back on the field uh, almost immediately. Uh, so that's the, the sort of the, the goal of the, the lawsuit itself. Yeah. I mean, it certainly begs the question when you see college college teams here being able to play and, and no high school teams. So uh, definitely deserves an answer. So there is a rally happening today, as we've seen uh, in recent weeks. Uh, care to share some details, uh, who you're asking to show up, any of the, the, the rules that go along with this rally? Absolutely. Well, the first thing people can do is go to playca.org playca.org it has all of the information about the group it's got the data the information we've put forward to the leadership of the state and the information included in the lawsuit about why we think our kids should be out there and then we're asking everybody today at 4 p.m at the county administration building uh, on pacific highway to join us who should be there anyone that's a parent of a child who'd like to be the ones who decide what's in the best interest of their children uh, I, I understand the reality behind COVID and what politicians are responsible for, but I'd like them to focus on vaccinations and getting them out to everyone and let me parent. So who we'd like to see out there today are a lot of parents and a lot of student athletes who want to have their voices heard. And obviously we'd like them in masks. We'd like them socially distanced. We'd like them to take the same precautions at the rally that we take when we have them on the field. Well said. Marlon Gardenera, thank you so much uh, for your time and your passion for kids. Appreciate it.